we do reach a position where the real part is equal to 1. And that is when we cross the r equal 1 circle. And that happens at two different positions. And of course it repeats as you go around and around and around. But it happens right here and right here. Let's pick the first time the real part is equal to 1. That's shown right here. Moving down the transmission line away from the lo load, the plotted load admittance, YL, is rotated towards the generator until it lies on the G equal 1 circle right here. And this is at a distance of 0.178 lambda minus our starting position, which is 0.115 lambda. And that is equal to a distance of 0 0.063 lambda. Now we can read off the input admittance at that position, a distance, this distance down the transmission line. And when, since we're on the R, or G equal 1 circle, the real part is 1. And we can read off which arc we're going through, positive 1.58 for the imaginary part. This means if we can find a way to cancel this 1.58, J1.58 value, we will have a normalized input admittance of 1. This diagram shows the scenario we have now. We have moved 0 0.063 lambda wavelengths away from the load. At that position, the normalized input admittance, which takes into account the rest of the transmission line and the load, is a total of 1 plus J 1.58. Now, we want to cancel this positive J 1.58. Do we want to use an inductor or a capacitor to cancel this J1.58 value? 